Hello, students. In this session, we will look at the muscles of mastication. This image shows the masseter muscle. After removal of the parotid gland, the attachment of the masseter to the zygomatic arch and the angle of the mandible is visible. The facial artery enters the face at the point where the inferior and anterior borders of the masseter meet. At the midpoint of the anterior border, the parotid duct crosses to enter the buccinator muscle. The masseter receives its nerve supply from the masseteric branch of the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. This image shows the temporalis muscle. It is a large fan-shaped muscle occupying the temporal fossa and passing beneath the zygomatic arch. It originates from the inferior temporal line and inserts onto the coronoid process of the mandible. The temporalis muscle elevates the mandible, helping to close the mouth. It is supplied by the deep temporal branches of the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve. This image shows the lateral pterygoid muscle. It has two heads. The upper head arises from the inferior surface of the greater wing of the sphenoid bone. The lower head arises from the lateral surface of the lateral pterygoid plate. Both heads converge to insert on the neck of the mandible and the capsule of the temporomandibular joint. The lateral pterygoid primarily protracts the mandible and helps open the mouth by pulling the mandibular head forward 